Kaya. Kaya. <laughs> Hello, gorgeous ones. So in this video, we are going to talk about or explore, do you ever feel like you want to run away from your relationship? And if you do, you are not alone. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I, I don't run away. Do I? Shiva doesn't, actually, which is really interesting and beautiful. I don't run away. Wow. That's interesting to notice. Yeah, it's interesting to notice. What, uh, what is interesting is that every time Shelley comes with a suggestion about that would suggest a high degree of commitment or something, mm -hmm. then I'm like, yeah, sure, let's do that. I see a reaction in her. It goes like, Fuck, he's in. He's, you know, there is a reaction which is a bit scary, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I don't know if it's always react. I don't know if it's me coming with a suggestion of more commitment. Maybe, maybe it happens at those times. But I know that for myself, um, in every relationship I've ever had, there is an energetic quality that's present, and it literally feels like I'm tying my running shoes, like to get ready to bolt out the door that's what it feels like like I'm tying my that's running so shoes that's cute. what it feels like and so, so the reason we wanted to do a video about it because I'm sure that many people feel that way and last week Shiva and I were we were just exploring our dynamics and where we were at and I finally named that I said okay well there is this part of me that's present that wants to run really far away from this from us from you and what was so sweet about it was he just looked me right in the eyes and he's like, I know, I feel that in you. <laughs> like, I feel that all the time in you, that you're like ready to run. And there was something really sweet about us both just like putting it on the table and saying, okay, this energy is here. And what was important for me was not to attach to it and, and kind of create a story around it, which is really common. Like oh, this means I have to get out of here. Like I just was noticing, okay, this is here. And same with him. He was just noticing, okay, yeah, I see it. I see that in you too. He wasn't reacting to it. He wasn't like freaked out by it or he was just like, yeah, that's here. And what I noticed happened as a result was once we just named it and said, okay, this is here, I noticed for myself like a dropping in and an opening up to, well, what if I don't run? Yeah. Like, what happens? And I could almost tap into a new potential, a new energy of like, wow, what if I don't run? Mm. What if I just stay? And I could feel this like deepening happening just from having the conversation. So I guess if you feel like you want to run, in your relationship maybe just be with like what's that explore it for yourself but maybe just also be with it mm. and um i have a question for you oh yeah what's why where does that come from where does the the urge come from what is the thing that triggers you to go like okay i'm out of here uh, you know? yeah it's a fear of intimacy it's a fear of being deeply bonded and it is I think some aspect of it is I want to leave before I get left or I want to leave before this hurts. So I just want to get out of here. Mm. Um, so it's a, it's a protective force. It's a, yeah, I'm pretty... yeah, it's a protective response or protective instinct inside of you that says something there is getting uncomfortable or dangerous or yeah, too, unstable, close. too close. It's usually around too close or too deep in with someone and protective it's like a false sense of protection because me running isn't actually going to protect me it's the fear it's it's the fear speaking saying get out of here mm -hmm. <laughs> get away fast yeah. um so what is what is why is there danger or fear in creating intimacy like in diving deeper into intimacy that leads eventually for you wanting to run away that's a hard that's a hard question to answer because I don't feel there's a lot of understanding around it. It's more my system starts to feel really vulnerable. Mm -hmm. And so like I was telling you and people will totally relate to this. Like there's a part of me that just wants 
wants you to do something or say something that get, that justifies me leaving. It's yeah. like, oh, sweet, okay, now I can really leave. Like yeah. now I can get out of here. But what I when I feel into it, what it is, it's like it's so vulnerable to be deeply connected. There's something very, very, very scary yeah, to my system. Crazy. That's like, wow, this is scary. Mm. Um, but yeah, it, you're completely seen, exposed, right? So it's like your skin is taken away, and then so you're there. You know, your heart wide open. Yeah, it's an exposure. Then, yeah, then it makes you very vulnerable. Very vulnerable. Yeah. But I think what it was so beautiful for us to just be like, oh, this is here. And really what was extraordinary was what opened up. It was like, okay, well, now that I'm naming, it felt really freeing to name it because I felt I have felt that in every relationship I've ever been in. So to name it and then be like, well, what if I don't listen to that? Just naming it almost takes away its power. It's like, oh, well, this is just like an energetic thing that's present. But what if I don't listen to that? And what if I just stay? What if you just stay? Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>